Chinese painting, I can do that without any problem. I'll start next week. Oh no, I'm always late to my Chinese class and today I'm one hour early. Let me show you how to hold a brush. Normally, when we hold a pen, we hold it in this way. But for a brush, we should hold it like this. And it's in the middle of the handle that we are holding. The hand should be unsupported and be able to move freely. The placement of the finger is very similar to the method of holding chopsticks, but with a gentle touch capable of changing the pressure on the brush or the direction of movement instantly. Well, water is a very important element in Chinese painting. It can make your painting look vivid, but it can also ruin everything. So let's take a look at the bath example. You see, here the brush is too wet. That causes over-absorbency in the paper. The brush shouldn't be too dry neither. It will stop the brush flow in that way. First, use the brush to touch the white color. Let the color go from the tip to the bottom part of the brush. Then touch the brush to the medium red color. Press the bristle gently against the side of the plate to make sure the brush gets the color equally. And let the color rise up to the middle part. We begin at the center of the flower. We use the tip and the middle part of the brush to draw. For outside petals, we use all the brush. Remember to roll your brush. You see, the petals are very red in the middle and get lighter at the outside. You can add more petals to the flower head. But don't forget that the dark red brush point should always be faced to the center. The way to draw the second flower is pretty much the same. The most important thing is to learn how to roll your brush. We use the red and yellow colors for the third flower. The petals are red in the middle and yellow at the outside.
the stems are pointed downwards, but the brush should never stay at the point for too long. If not, the point would get too thick. It never allows us to hesitate when drawing Chinese paintings. There are different thickness of branches. Young branches are always green. We can even add some light red color for the young branches. A medium brush for the leaves. We have different cream colors for the leaves. Use more yellow for the young ones. And for other leaves, we can add more green and even the ink to make them darker. The peony plant has its leaves grouped in threes, and as the peony flower heads are very heavy, the leaves are always close to the flowers. Now we use the lighter color to draw those leaves, which are far from us. A good Chinese painting cannot go without calligraphy. Sometimes we name the picture, or simply sign it. Calligraphy is another branch of art in Chinese culture, and here the calligraphy is a part of the painting itself.